Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the new upcoming character Shilonen and hopefully help you figure out if she fits your playstyle and team composition, so ultimately if this character is worth your wishes. First, let's quickly cover her skill kit. She occasionally uses normal attacks, but they are very standard, so let's start with the elemental skill. She enters Night Soul mode and activates a Geon Fusion and Defense Scaling for her normal attacks. Also, her unique way of movement will be these roller blades, which she can even use to climb. On the left, you see the usual Night Soul meter and three source samples. By default, they are aligned with Geo, but they can change to Pyro, Hydro, Cryo, or Electro if you have characters matching those elements in your team. The source samples will be activated for I believe 15 seconds once the night soul point meter is completely filled. During this time enemies will have their elemental resistances decreased to the sampled elements. It's kind of like a built-in Veridescent set. If you're wondering how to generate night soul points we will get to it once we take a look at her passive skills. First though the burst skill if you have at least two samples change the elements it will continuously heal your team for a certain duration. Otherwise, if it's less than two samples changed, it will deal extra geo damage instead. As for the passives, the first one, like all Netland characters, she also has two skills related to movement in Netland. Nothing too special, let's get to the combat skills. The first one, while in the Night Soul state, and if you have at least two source sample changed elements, Gilonen's normal attacks will generate 35 Night Soul points, and otherwise if it's less than 2 source sample changed, she will do extra damage while not generating any Night Soul points. And the last skill, it's the standard synergy with the Night Soul Burst. Gilonen gets a defense buff when team members trigger them, but she will also trigger a Night Soul Burst herself whenever her Night Soul points reach the maximum. I absolutely love her design, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it's so far unique to her. She is the only character so far who can change her role from a pure healer to a pure main DPS. For the DPS part, if you play like a mono geo team, she will probably feel kind of like Yoimiya, press the elemental skills, spam normal attacks, and throw in the occasional burst for extra damage. That's basically the whole playstyle. That being said, the main use of her will be as a utility character. Shredding resistances while providing 40% elemental damage bonus with her artifact set and healing your team on top of that. These effects are also way easier to get than from a character like Kazua, for example, since you don't even need to swirl anything. Just enter Night Soul Mode, do three normal attacks to max out the meter, press the burst, that's it. Also, one more thing, her last passive skill triggers an extra Night Soul Burst, which is obviously invaluable for other Netland characters, since they all share a similar like synergy with Night Soul Burst. And as more characters get released, Shilonen will get even more important for this exact reason. All I have to say is goodbye, Jean, and hello, Shilonen. We have a new like resistant shredding healer in the house. <laughs> As for the build, as you might have guessed already, it can change quite drastically depending on your team composition. If you play her in a mono geo team as a main DPS defense scaler, then of course defense, crit, crit damage and geo damage bonus will be your stats of choice. Otherwise, as a healer in a utility role, of course energy recharge enough to get her burst skill off consistently. And it's kind of hard to put a number on it. It's not an expensive burst, but you might or might not get extra energy from her passive skill as well. So I would assume it will end up somewhere we're in the mid range with 150 to 160 percent and then for the rest just put everything into defense to scale her healing on the burst skill then for the weapon if you play her as a dps of course the cinnabar spindle can be quite nice otherwise the new craftable weapon can be quite nice all around and if you lack a lot of energy recharge as a utility character then of course the favonia sword can help out with it but especially as a utility character, her personal weapon is super high value, one of the best weapons in the game already, I would assume, because it's another allergy for the end situations. It's one of those weapons that are super rare that increase the damage of the rest of your team with extra elemental damage bonus. So again, if you go for Shilonen, you might consider going for a weapon as well. And then for the um, artifacts, of course, the new set, the uh, Heroes of Cinder City, for the extra elemental skill damage, uh, sorry, elemental bonus damage for your team, but um, also just a lot of defense and energy recharge and substats. And triple defense percentage is my recommendation, but you can go for healing bonus if you use her as a utility character. Otherwise, it's probably going to end up defense. Um, uh, geo damage bonus and crit crit damage as a DPS character. 
And now for team compositions, I kind of alluded to this before. I think Shilonen and Kazuha share a lot of overlap in their skill kits. They both can shred resistances and buff elemental damage for Hydro, Pyro, Electro or Cryo characters. But I don't think it's so much a case of power creep, I think it's more so more choices because they aren't in the same slot. Shilonen is obviously healer and Kazuha is more so a sub DPS, so you can kind of choose where you want this utility to come from. But before we get into this, let's uh, take a look into main DPS Shilonen. If Shilonen has less than two of her source sample changed element, then of course she is a defense scaling main DPS, competing for the same slot as Ito for example in a Goro team. And that means we need at least three characters to have maximum of one source sample change, so and we just pick any defense scaling character to synergize with Goro, for example Kachina, Albedo or Shiori. And then same problem as with like Ito, we don't have healing nor do we have a shield to activate Geo Resonance. We also get extra resistance shred from a character like Zhongli and he also provides the shield so we can just pick him. Otherwise if we want to go for another character like a sub DPS, if we have C4 Goro he can heal, then we can obviously pick something like Yelan, Jingzhou, um, Zhangling or uh, what's her name, Fischl for example, to trigger Crystallize to activate Geo Resonance. Otherwise, if we don't have C4 Goro and we need a healer, of course someone like, for example, Kokomi, she can also trigger some Crystallize with her off-field uh, Hydro application, and we are just fine with this as well. And if Shilonen has at least two of her source sample change elements, then she is of course a healer with a lot of extra utility for your team, which makes her incredibly useful in a lot of different circumstances. There are only a couple of exceptions, specifically main DPS for physical and electro, she doesn't really do anything for those. And then there's Dendro. Dendro is a little bit of a special case because if you play Burgeon specifically or Quicken, I don't think you can even activate Quicken because if you play electro plus Dendro, you still need a second source sample, which means you need to pick a Hydro, Pyro or Cryo character, you don't want any of those in a Quicken team. If we play Burgeon, then of course it's Dendro damage, it's not Pyro damage, so it really is kind of bad, she doesn't really do anything, as Shilona doesn't really do anything here, but we can go for Hyper Bloom, which is technically Electro damage, so the resistance shred of her does work, and of course she also provides extra Electro damage and Hydro damage to these two characters. And on top of that, we can also drop someone like Raiden, and pick someone like Yaimiko, and we can even pick someone like... Um, and Nahida is an on-field character to trigger even more Bloom, because she, Shilonen doesn't even have off-field Geo application, so she doesn't even mess up any, uh, any elemental reactions, which is really nice. And now for the more obvious teams, first of all I already mentioned a bunch, but Mualani has extra synergy with Shilonen for the Knights of Earth, but aside from that we only need two source samples, and we can go with like Vaporize, Freeze, Melt, these over vape teams or whatever, and that's basically it. And the question is what we do with the last slot. First of all, we can just pick any utility character. Of course, Mualani does a lot of normal attack damage, so we get extra normal attack damage from Yunjin and Geo Resonance, otherwise someone like Sucrose for the extra elemental mastery. And of course, extra resistance shred even on top of that, even though it's diminishing returns if we shred into the negatives, it's still a little bit of extra value. We can even pick a character like Nahida because we get extra elemental mastery again and in this specific team we trigger burning and then vape off the burning because of course Mualani has such low hydro application that she won't um, uh, override it instead. And then um, you can obviously just um, double up on one of these source samples and go with like for example Hydro Resonance here for the extra HP for these two characters or even Pyro Resonance for the extra attack for these two characters or even higher um, Pyro application or um, to just show some other teams we can even just let me show a melt team here for example again same thing kind of <laughs> or we go for a freeze team again we can go for something like uh, hydro resonance or the last thing is we can obviously also go just for triple um, source samples and play something like the national team or over vape team whatever you want to call it and we can probably sample teams here for like 10 minutes straight but just to give you some ideas again two source samples is the little minimum you want to go for and then just any like utility character or just double up in the last slot Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful to figure out if this character appears to you. I will get her and try her out, so stay tuned for that. Until then, have fun and bye bye.